So throughout the course of the DR, um, I was really able to see uh, God working in my life personally. Uh, as we were down, especially in like the Sugarcane Village on the medical day, I was able to see uh, people regarded by the world as being the lowest of the low. Uh, while we were down in the DR, it was really cool to see um, how we came together as a class and how we worked together for one thing and one thing alone, which was basically spreading God's word. And it was incredible to see how, how close we were drawn together through ministry and through worship and that sort of thing. I'll keep on driving these dark highway lines. So in the DR, we were just really challenged to like live uncomfortably and get in uncomfortable situations, kind of push ourselves. So I really took a hold of this and while we were with the kids, I just kind of gave myself all to them. Like I couldn't give much to them, but I just tried to give them all I could, like by loving on them and jumping around and look like you looking like a fool and kind of just like dancing and being silly. Um, after our class went down to the DR for the senior trip, there is a big change in the way we interacted with each other, most likely due to the fact that we had all experienced the same things down there. We had uh, held the kids together, played with them, had our hearts broken over the tragedies down there. So when we came back, I saw a change in our class because we were more invested in each other's lives. We cared about what was going on, the small things, the big things. We were just more of a family than we'd ever been before. And people who I didn't even think knew my name would come up to me and ask me how I was doing. I would see a kid that I had shared an experience with on the trip, and I would go up to them and talk to them, and it was like we were a family again. So that's how we did. I saw God working so prevalently in their lives, and he was so intimate in their lives. And like He still wanted to know them so much and he wanted to know them so equally to how he would want to know anybody in America who would be seen as um, almost like a higher class citizen in the world view. So much time, so far apart She walks the night I wanted to make a stand and that's why I got baptized in the DR. I just wanted to be a Peter and walk on the water and I know I'm going to fall sometimes but through thick and thin I know that God will be with me through it all. Okay, so since the DR, I think some of the biggest change that I've seen in myself has been in the way of when I look around and I observe the world that we live in, there's a, a large difference between the way I looked at the world before I went to the DR and the way I look at it now. Um, the DR was, a, was the first time that I was out of the country on a mission trip as well, so it was a neat experience for me to go through that with the students. Uh, you could really see students, students who aren't, like you wouldn't think we're good with kids, but to see them down there interacting with all the children, was, it's, it's not something you see every day and it's really impactful. Um, in terms of what I've seen from the student side, I think the biggest change I've seen is the atmosphere in coming back. I think, I think some of the uh, the way that the students have understood the trip and the things that they learned on the trip has really trickled back down through even some of my freshman and sophomore classes and my geometry classes. I see some of the students talking about the things that we talked about on the trip and uh, seeming very encouraged about the atmosphere and where to go from, from here.
that really was able to really reaffirm to me that God is sovereign over all and that no matter what we think, He controls everything in your life. Um, he is active in every part of the world from the lowest point of the ocean to the highest mountain. He is there. He is wanting to be known by anyone who lives there. And He desperately wants you to build a relationship with Him. And I thought that was the most encouraging aspect of the trip and something I will never forget.